Hey, this is Steve, lighting specialist here at 1000bulbs.com, and today we have a 10-year-old lighting expert joining me. This is Jaden from Cleveland, Ohio, and today we're going to talk about all things lighting, starting with different LED, uh, technologies from incandescent to LED, color temperatures. Uh, we're going to go from 60-watt light bulbs all the way up to a 1,000-watt replacement, and I cannot wait to do this with you. How are you feeling today? Uh, good. Good? You excited about being in Dallas, Texas? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I think you're more excited about just getting to business, aren't you? Uh-huh. Okay, so let's talk about lighting. So, what we want to start with is just really a basic introduction to lighting. So, if I said, Jaden, what is the very first light bulb ever invented? What's that technology? Um, incandescent. Incandescent lighting. And from incandescent, we went to halogen lighting, and then we went from halogen to fluorescent lighting, and from fluorescent lighting to what we call LED. H I. Whoa, you left a step out. H I D. Sometimes H -I -D. that's metal halide or high pressure sodium. And then we have LED. So we have a lot of opportunity to talk about stuff with lighting today. And so the first thing I think we want to do is just introduce some basic. LED technologies. Now, one of the greatest things about LEDs is it gives us the opportunity to talk about color temperature. One of your favorite subjects, right? Uh-huh. So tell me about what the different color temperatures are, and maybe you can demonstrate them for us. So this is um 5,000K, and this one is 4,000K, and this one is 3,000K, and then this one is 2,700K. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then so um so this is probably going to be like a cooler light all the way down to like a warm light so we are going to plug this one in right here going down 5000 4000 3000 2700k all right now do you need to put on some safety glasses for this portion oh yes i got these nice sunglasses here and then I'm going to take my regular glasses off, put these on. Wow, so future. And then we are going to turn both of these on. Three, two, one. All righty, so what we Whoa. have here are 75 <laughs> watt equivalents, pretty bright. Which one is your favorite and why? Um, I kind of like this one because it's a nice, cool, white light. I really like that um, type of like color. So this one is probably like my favorite. And then this one will probably, maybe this one or that one will probably be like a good relaxing light. This one is like a wake up light. So. That's exactly kind of what I wanted to ask you. When it comes to color temperatures, we have what's called a warm white, soft white, all the way up to daylight. So this is like warm white, soft white, cool white daylight. So if I wanted to fall asleep, I'd want this one, right? Uh, nah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely want something warm. But if I wanted to work, if I had someone just needing me to work 16 hours a day up here selling light bulbs, what light do I need to be under? I'm pretty sure um you should be under like this one or this one. Um, I kind of choose like this one almost because you can kind of see like mostly like most of the color because it's kind of like a nice white bright color. And then like that would be for like working. This one is kind of like a wake up color almost. Perfect, I completely agree. <laughs> like now, I'm a sky color for this one. Right, so 5,000 Kelvin, very close to what we call daylight. So what you said is very appropriate, kind of like the sky, right? And then this one is kind of like, um, like a cool white, kind of like a little bit of warm white mixed in with this. So let me ask you a question. Going back to what we started about originally, so this is a good old fashioned incandescent, incandescent light bulb. So out of these four here, which one do you think this would be the closest to in color? Should we test that out? Yes. Let's do that real fast. So let's <laughs> unscrew can, this one. You can turn that, that power strip off. Let's take that one right unscrew there. Unscrew that. You're right. So hey. if we compare, <laughs> this is a good old fashioned incandescent. It's been around for almost 100 years, right? Something like that. And yeah. one of the things about technology is that for a long time, this is all that we could do, right? Yeah, it was only incandescent until um, someone invented halogen and then fluorescent, yep. right? And something that uh, the people watching may not know is that the incandescent light bulb is close to 2700 Kelvin. Can you put this one back in for me? Oh yeah, sure. 
which is 3,000 Kelvin. Always turn the power off. Before. I know. I don't follow the rules. That's why I need this guy. So halogen light bulb is also a, a it has go. voltage going through a filament, but it's what's called a tungsten filament. It's a lot thicker. And halogen light bulbs, if you didn't know, are closer to 3,000 Kelvin. So if you had like maybe a PAR lamp of some sort, like a 50 watt PAR 20, that would have a 3,000 color color temperature. Oh, kind of like, so that one would probably be like um, close to like halogen color or might even be a halogen. A absolutely, and it was considered wider than incandescent. It was actually a step up. But then we had the, uh, the advent of fluorescent lighting. And with fluorescent lighting, the world completely changed when it came to color. Uh, fluorescent lighting runs off of a what? Um, ballast. A ballast. Can you talk a little bit about what you know about ballast? So like, um, what I know is that like, um, you put power into it, it kind of like regulates the voltage a little. And then um, I believe the like current goes like back and forth. Yeah. And then that kind of like operates the tube almost. So I'm not much of an electrician, but what I do know is that the power goes into the ballast and the ballast helps regulate it correctly into the fluorescent mm -hmm. tube so that it doesn't overheat and get too much voltage. We actually have some examples this is a compact fluorescent, right? So to take the place of a light bulb like this, let's turn that power off. Oh. And, and it doesn't matter, just take one of those out. Should I take out like the other one probably? So yeah, go ahead, because we're gonna use that socket too. So this okay. is what we call a compact fluorescent screw-in light bulb. You can see it's got these tubes, and there's a ballast actually inside here, uh, inside this little compartment. So if we turn it back on, we got these little tubes pop up. This happens to be 2,700 Kelvin. Uh, so, this one is warm way, kind of like close to this. Exactly. This one also has a nice Now the great thing about uh, compact fluorescence is that you can have longer tubes that spiral, and the more tubes you have, or the longer they are, guess what you have? You have more power, <laughs> right? So this one is 105 one. watts, right? So this one, we definitely want to keep our sunglasses on. Do you mind if I screw this one in? Yes. So this one's going to be 5,000 Kelvin. Also, so look at the difference. Also, there's different thickness of the tube, hoping we don't trip the brake. Yeah, so <laughs> this is pretty big. the technology that we have now, we now can change the colors because we have fluorescent. And that was a big thing. We can change the mood of the type of lighting we have around us. So we have warm white, here we have cool white. This is a nice little work light. Like how big the ballast is, because bigger ballast, um, bigger tube. This is like a very small ballast, but um, it's also a small tube. Absolutely. Also higher wattage. Another type of compact fluorescent are the kind you actually plug into a socket, and these require a separate ballast. Mm -hmm. So this one right here is your, we don't have any way to turn this on, but Sadly. could you tell the difference between which one is, just take a guess, which one of these is LED, which one is compact fluorescent? LED, compact fluorescent. Let's just see if you're right here. You looked beforehand, didn't you? You're absolutely right. How did you know this one was LED? Did you just take a guess because or did you have a? I can tell the tube because if you see here, the tubes are like connected by this big plastic thing in the middle and also it is plastic and this right here is glass. Yep, you can hear that. Yeah, I know you difference. can't hear that difference just <laughs> there, but you're absolutely correct. So Yeah, you can also see like the tubes when they connect it down here. Those are just basically all connected together almost. So separate tube. We got from incandescent to halogen to we had we saw fluorescent tubes earlier today, but these are a type of fluorescent tube. They're just called spirals, right? And then we come into we're, we're going to skip metal halides for now because that's going to be for the finale. And then we have LEDs, right? So what's a big benefit of having LEDs? Not just for the color, but what's another benefit? So a big benefit is that like say from fluorescent, they probably took like um, a step up to they took a step up to LED, and then um so just right here. Lamp power is 20, 23 watts. And if we screw it in here, it is actually dimmer than this LED, which is only 11 watts. This is 11 watts and this is 23 watts. And it is way more brighter. Not because of the color, it is actually way more brighter. And then both of these actually replace that incandescent light bulb which was how many watts? This is 
75 in LED only using 11 watts is equivalent to this 75 so, watt incandescent. Less wattage equal to or more light means that the person paying for the electricity is going to spend a lot less money, right? Uh, and also it's like way more brighter used for like in factories or like warehouses sure. kind of like here. And it lasts a lot longer, correct? Yes, it lasts like um this probably lasts for about like 20 years. This only lasts for like one or two. Yeah, you which is kind of sad. <laughs> well, that's okay. You know, technology's gotten better. Um, let's see. What else do we want to talk about today, Jaden? Um, let's maybe talk about the big LED. Well, we're gonna get there in a second. Let's do one more <laughs> thing. Okay. Now, I've got this little fixture here. I'm gonna show this to you. I'm gonna show everybody actually who's watching. So this is just an, a typical LED fixture. And what we have is we have two panels of diodes. So what's unique about this fixture is that it's color changing. I have three different color temperatures that I can show you. So when you look down the strip, you can see kind of like the different colors of the LED itself because like um, the, um, there's like um, the daylight color, which is probably like this one right here. And then there's the warm white color, which is this one right here. So how many different colors do you actually see? So I only see like two. Two, correct. So I've got, a, I've got one that I, you would describe as maybe yellow that is going to be the, the cool white. And then the orangey cool one, amber warm white. So now we have a switch. And the switch is right, right there's two of them. One's for output, one's for color. This is the one for color, I believe. So I'm and gonna I'm gonna turn it on for a second, okay? Is output like kind of like controls the brightness? Yes, that's correct. This one Ooh. you can actually control the wattage. So let's see here. As you can see, I've only got one strip of diodes here turned on. Right? Wow, on each side. Even it even hurts my eyes just to look for the sunglasses. <laughs> and LEDs this, are bright. So this is the warm white, and then we have cool white. 5,000K. How do you think we get 4,000K? So we have, again, 3,000K, 5,000K. We can mix them together. Voila. It's like magic. 5,000, 3,000 mixed together makes our 4,000K. And that I is when you, that when you see a fixture that is able to do multiple color temperatures, that's exactly how they do it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Ah, uh, like um, uh, one light that can switch like for different colors, like three separate colors. You know what would Which be? Very do you cool. know why people who are into lighting and who use lighting, maybe they install lighting. You know what? That's really important. They don't have to have so many uh, products on their truck. They can just keep one of these. It makes anybody happy, right? Huh? Very good. Now, let's talk about metal halides, right? Do you know what a metal halide is? I'm um, kind of like um, there's this tube in the middle, very kind of like a little small like this. Yeah. Right there, and then there's an arc generated between it, and um, it also contains mercury. We should like talk about that a little. Fluorescent tubes also contain mercury, um, which is the gas that kind of like operates it that's inside the tube, and there's also um, a little bit more probably in here because um, it can cr it has to create an arc. So we're not lying when we said it's a 10-year-old lighting expert. This guy's schooling me right now on how this stuff operates. So now this light bulb, I can't just screw it into any socket and it works, right? It's got to be controlled by a? Ballast. By a ballast. So just like a fluorescent, this operates off of a ballast. And you would find these in a lot of uh, commercial and industrial fixtures, you know, maybe in a warehouse or security lighting outside. there's some outside. downstairs right there. There's some downstairs. And it would take a lot of light to replace this with LED, wouldn't it? Yes. Yep. And then while we're looking at this, let's also take the time to talk about bases. So we have a couple of different bases here, right? Different sizes. Different sizes. And, and how do we describe that? Do you, do you know what this is called? So that, um, I think that's like a large base. It is large. It's I got a special name. Can I teach it to you? Huh? This is a mogul base. M-O-G-U-L. Mogul base. Mogul. We can also describe it by its diameter. So if you ever see a light bulb that says E as in Edison, 39, then that, is, that 39, e 39? Yep, at 39 is the measurement across the diameter in millimeters. Okay. Oh. A medium base, this is medium, standard base. Way more tinier than this giant thing. <laughs> is an E26. 26 millimeters. 
right? Oh. What other basses have you played with at the house that you that you plugged in? Do you have maybe a chandelier light bulb? So like um, I know there was candelabra, which right? is basically like very small. I don't have one of those here, but that one is called an E12. Oh, uh, e so like 12, 12 millimeters. That's across. correct, on the diameter. Now, light bulbs themselves, when you talk about how they're measured, they have, we talked about that, remember the, this morning with the tubes? We have T8s and T12s, right? So this has a measurement as well. So this right here is what we call an ED for Edison, 28. 28 eighths of an inch around. That's the diameter oh. of this, okay? And that's a, that's a lot of interesting you can <laughs> learn as well. Now, what we talked about though is that we've got metal halide and people wanna put an LED in this place, right? Mm -hmm. So, as you look at this, do you see much difference in the size? Um, no, not really. Though so this one is kind of like coated, mm -hmm. and this one is not, yeah. so you can't see the inside of it. You this. can't. Do you know what's actually inside this right now? No. I don't know, really. <laughs> Can you screw that one in for me? So this is an LED light bulb, and the LEDs are created not by little diodes, but by what we, these are called filaments inside. So As, like LED filaments, kind of like to replace incandescent filaments to just keep it like to look like sure, that. Sure, turn it on. So you see how the, the, the LED filaments are lit up and now you've created light. And that is, that is very bright right there comparing to this incandescent, which has little tiny filament right in there. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but there's a little tiny filament just stretching across right there. And sometimes you get too much voltage and what happens to that little filament? Um, it breaks. It pops, and that's why they burn out so often. You can't pop this one. So inside this light bulb, this is LED, do you know what's inside here? Bigger filaments just like this. Oh. If we were to erase this frostiness right here, you would see big filaments. Wow. Do you want to see it lit up? Um, yes, this uh. one also doesn't require a ballast. This one requires a ballast, and we don't have one right here with us now, so we can't turn it on, but this one doesn't require a ballast, so we got this directly hooked up to an outlet that um, we can use to turn it on here. So let's do that real fast, shall we? See if it works, turn on the power. It actually looks really, really, really nice. I know people oh, at home wow. can't necessarily tell, but it's a nice, bright, even light, and it will yeah. replace that metal halide it's, very easily. It's a cool light, basically, yeah. and it's very bright. <laughs> so that's a cool little light bulb as well. Now, metal halides, this one happens to be a, this is actually a 400 watt metal halide, right? 400 watt? It's a really small 400 watt metal halide. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> what's the largest metal halide you've ever seen in person? 1,000 watt yeah. metal halide, the biggest one like ever. Did it look something like this? Yes. Yeah, yeah this I is mean, a 1,000 watt metal halide, right? Hey, just what I said. Yeah, you wanna hold it? You ever seen one of these lit up? No. Where do you think you might find one of, them, one of those? In like a big warehouse or a factory. Most of them are kind of like replaced by LEDs now, but they'll have these like hanging upside down in giant fixtures. Look, hey. look at this thing, it's like the size of my head. Do you know that you can sometimes see them in fixtures like this? Ooh. Do you know what this fixture is called here? Well, kind of like you mostly see this in that yeah. fixture because I'm gonna get some of this big. stuff out of the way real fast because what I wanna do, would you like to see something like this turned on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what we've done. Also this one is LED, so I don't think it requires like a ballast or like you can't replace the light bulb, it's just straightforward LED. Let's talk about that for a second. So oh. for, our, for our people at home, let's see, I don't think you can really see this, but what do you see inside here? So what huh. Jane's looking at is a ballast inside here, and the ballast has been disconnected, the capacitor's been disconnected, and now Ooh. all the power is just going straight to the socket, okay? So, and then what we have, this little, this... Uh, it's like the lamp driver. This I is think. the driver, exactly. This is like brand new almost, which means like it's been replaced. So instead of a light bulb in the it's socket, closed. we actually have a driver. In this driver, we're going to actually plug in to this panel. So we made a connection, let's just go ahead and close it, okay? So, 
why don't you, while I get this ready, why don't you talk to the people about your favorite thing about lighting? Can you do that? Um, yes. Okay, go ahead. So my favorite thing about lights is I kind of like how it works, um, why like it does this and that. That's basically like my favorite thing about lights. And if you're wondering what is my favorite light bulb, like um, incandescent, halogen, metal halide, I believe, or fluorescent or LED, I'm kind of going out of order probably. Um, I kind of like fluorescent the best and metal halide. Halide because um, I like how fluorescent, how it kind of like works, what it does. And I like metal halide because um, how it kind of like works and turns on basically. Well, I gotta warn you, okay? This is like the sun in the box. So we're gonna put our glasses on and I don't necessarily think you should look at it, but what I want you to do is this. In the most Jaden-like way, I want you to give me a, whatever your reaction is when you see this. Think about the brightest light bulb you've ever seen and how much you love seeing it, and then I want you to be blown away by this, okay? okay. You ready? <laughs> you sure? Okay. So, let's see here. Oh my gosh! Jeez! So this... Would you want to guess how many lumens that is? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, so let's just go. And I don't want to leave it on too much. There's a fan in there. So also. it was a fan. So the, the first LED light bulb we had, this one's about 1,100 lumens. Okay? Ooh. And then we talked about something like this. This one has 5,000 lumens. 5,000. This one has 40,000 lumens coming out of this little panel. 40,000 wow. lumens. It's 40 times brighter than this first light bulb that we saw. Wow. Pretty amazing, <laughs> isn't it? So you can take an entire parking lot and you could have light bulbs that were 1,000 watts a piece and you can now put a 300 watt panel in there. That's better for the environment because it's not using as much energy. It's gonna be better for the person who's paying for electricity. It's gonna last forever. I don't have to come in and replace a ballast anymore. Not really anymore. like um, for, forever, but like like 30 years or something. I mean, longer than I'm going to be around, so that's all I really care about, right? So uh, it's a, that's one of my favorite things about lighting is just how awesome it can be to replace something so bright, and it makes you go, wow. <laughs> yeah, um, metal halide, it might seem bright if you actually look at it, but this is actually... Um, just a little bit more brighter and way more efficient than a metal halide. Well, Jaden, I can't thank you enough for taking some time to talk about lighting with me. I don't know if we covered everything that we planned on, but I had a great time talking about this stuff. Would you like to tell everyone about your YouTube site? Okay, so my YouTube site is called Jay-Z Lights, the Light Boy. And I do have a sponsor, 1000 Bulbs, which I'm wearing this shirt. And I'm right here, there, in the 1000 Bulbs company. So basically, this is almost like a sponsor video, almost. <laughs> and then um, I do make lots of videos. I was on the Ellen Show. So you can go to like the Ellen site and then see um, my show on Ellen. And once again, my YouTube my YouTube channel is Jay-Z Lights the Light Boy. Well, it's been a pleasure. Be honest. Obviously, we're more important than Ellen, but I mean, come on. We'll get there someday, right? Okay. Okay, yeah. So it's been a pleasure having this kid around. Again, this is Steve. Uh, I used to be the lighting specialist at 1000bulbs.com, but I think I might be replaced. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>